Now, your storm track weather with meteorologist Kyle Porkett. Hey there, Northeast Kansas, and welcome back to KSNT News. Happy Tuesday. There's a lot going on this morning, and you got to stay as safe as you can before you tackle the day. Let's get started across our weather cam network. We are facing that southwest sky this morning. This weather camera has been deteriorating over the last hour or so. The weather in Topeka has not gotten worse. It's just kind of proof of what I'm talking about. The light rain, the mist, and the drizzle is freezing on contact. Of course, this is our camera lens looking to the south and west, and it's freezing up right on the camera. Of course, just that mist and drizzle outside, but temperatures are below freezing. They're in the 20s this morning. Uh, a lot of kudos to some of these Topekans out there right now. That's I-70. I realize, obviously, that part of I-70 is not a full 75 miles per hour in West Topeka, but still, they're probably not even going 55 miles an hour. Super, super slow on the highway this morning, and I-70 is one of the best roads right now. No major reports of any problems on the interstate, but it's those side streets, some of the bridges, the overpasses that are quickly becoming glazed over with ice. This is a classic ice storm with a little wrinkle to it now moving into some of our southern communities. Notice almost all of Lyon County seeing nothing but pure ice and maybe a little bit of sleet, some of those ice pellets. Here's the wrinkle though. Some thunder and some lightning to boot. There's Emporia, there's Olpe in central and also south central Lyon County. Look at those lightning strikes in the past five to ten minutes. All of Morris County seeing freezing rain and sleep this morning between Council Grove and White City. Even Cottonwood Falls through Chase County and areas farther to the south and west outside of the viewing area. But of course, all of this riding the Kansas Turnpike 335 to the north and to the east. Also getting more and more concerned because it's backfilling in south central Kansas. So all of these funky colors down near Wichita have to move our direction. And notice the tail on this thing as it stretches all the way back through north central Oklahoma. This is an ice storm. I've been talking to some of my colleagues down in Wichita, uh, down at Cake, for example. Uh, former meteorologist used to work here. He said there's lots of sleet and lots of freezing rain coming down outside their studios, but he's also hearing some loud cracks of thunder and seeing flashes of lightning, too. And all of that is headed our way across the southeast counties. That is exactly why the National Weather Service in Topeka has issued an ice storm warning in effect through 3 o'clock this afternoon for our southern and eastern communities. There's I-35. So basically the Interstate 35 in Kansas Turnpike Corridor and farther north and east into Kansas City, including Osage City, Burlington, Lawrence, Ottawa. Topeka technically not under the ice storm warning. But neither is Emporia or Council Grove, and they're seeing the ice right now. So, really, I think Shawnee County is under the gun, too. Here's our KSNT future track. This is the brand new computer model coming in. Notice how organized all this pink is across those southeast counties. This is 8 or 9 o'clock this morning. All of this is what's down near Wichita right now. So, as it moves farther north and east, it will leave the viewing area, but it has to pass through first. Now, if you're waking up and tuning in in a city like Manhattan, for example, or Clay Center, still slick where you live, so give your yourselves a few extra minutes, but you are not going to see the brunt of the freezing rain or sleet this morning. In fact, by this afternoon, it'll be chilly, but you'll see the sun. That's how quickly we actually clear things out. Your forecast today, uh, far more treacherous travel forecast for the south and eastern communities. However, as I just said, Manhattan, even farther to the north, Marysville, it is still slick where you live. You saw some thunderstorms yesterday. It rained overnight. Of course, it is a little bit of ice, some icy surfaces there as you head out the door. Temperatures this afternoon may be nudging the freezing mark for a few hours. Lots of clouds, but we will clear things out. If we do not see the sun before sunset, we'll see it tomorrow because the skies will be crystal clear tonight and the price we pay especially this time of the year is colder weather when those skies clear so 16 degrees tomorrow morning temperatures during the day trapped in the 20s and 30s and then our eyes turn to the forecast later this week a chance for some more thunderstorms on thursday and a rain snow mix on saturday so the first half of the weekend looking a bit messy However, early next week, as we start to wrap up the month of February, temperatures a little bit more mild and the weather a little bit more manageable. Take a look. Sunday, mostly sunny, 55. Monday, mostly sunny, 54. But this morning, it's all about the ice. Please, please, please drive carefully.